Get ready to drop in three, two, one. Go, go, go! Shouted Captain Munch as they all abseiled down the window into Sunny Point School's bag room. Captain Munch was the leader of the Lunchbox Brigade, a secret network of superfood superheroes whose mission was to make sure children ate healthy lunches at school. She stood in front of everyone, hands on hips, with a very serious look on her face. Welcome to the biggest red alert zone in the country. Sunny Point School has been listed as having the unhealthiest lunchboxes in Australia. The situation is terrible. Kids are losing energy, brain power, muscle power, and they're getting sick all the time. But today's the day we make a change. Today's the day we show them the power of superfood, one lunchbox at a time. Yeah! cried the brigade troops in one big shouting voice. We have 100 bags and only 30 minutes until the bell rings for lunch. There's no time to waste. Get to your stations and get to work. Captain Munch had the expert help of her team leaders, Leo, Yuki and Albert. Leo was in charge of the protein power team, who were ready to help Sunny Point school kids build strength, muscles and healthy bones and teeth. They had backpacks filled with hummus and crackers, yogurt tubs and cheese sandwiches. Leo, I need your team to start by opening up each school bag and get rid of all the junk in each lunchbox before replacing it with protein-powered foods. Yes, Captain Munch, Leo replied with a swift salute. Leo certainly looked like he ate his protein. His muscles were almost as big as his head. Team, let's give these kids the power, cried Leo, directing his team to the first row of school bags. Next, it was time for Yuki's team, the Rainbow Runners. Yuki was only half the size of Leo, but she was the most energetic out of everyone. This is because Yuki loved to eat the rainbow. She ate fruits and vegetables of all colours, which gave her lots of vitamins and minerals and energy to help her fight off nasty colds and bugs. Yuki, it's time to share your superpower. I want your team to go in and load those lunchboxes with those colourful snacks. Sunny Point School needs the power of natural sugar and vitamins that comes from fruit and veggies. Yes, Captain Munch, we've packed fruit and veggie sticks in every colour possible, replied Yuki. Come on, team, let's bring the rainbow to Sunny Point. And with a salute to Captain Munch, Yuki and her team joined Leo and his team. Lastly was Albert's team, the Brain Boosters. Albert was a food scientist and spent lots of time studying the effects of food on the brain. Albert, we're relying on your team to help these students with their concentration. Teachers have reported that after lunch, students have been falling asleep and have foggy memories. By the time they're home, they're ready for bed. These blueberries and homemade muesli bars will help fix that, said Albert. Come on, team. Let's wake these students up and boost their brain power. Leo's team was working hard, tossing out all greasy, salty, sugary junk from the lunchboxes into a big yellow bag that said toxic waste on it. Yuki's team worked so fast and energetically, all you could see was flashes of colour, orange carrot sticks, green celery sticks, yellow bananas, red strawberries. And Albert's team worked calmly but quickly as Albert and his team found a way to fill five lunchboxes at one time. And before they knew it, it was time to go. The bag of junk food was so heavy, it took all three teams to help pull it up and out of the window. Captain Munch couldn't wait to drop it off at the monster park for all the monsters to eat. Later that afternoon, Captain Munch called Leo, Yuki and Albert to her headquarters. Leaders, I have some fantastic news to share. Our secret spies on the ground at Sunny Point School have reported that the students not only ate all their lunch, but with tremendous results. 
They were awake and attentive in class, and best of all, they were feeling much healthier and happier. Leo, Yuki and Albert were so happy to hear the news, they high-fived one another. So, mission completed, Captain, asked Leo. Yes, for today, Captain Munch replied. One day makes a difference, but we need to make sure these students keep up with these good lunchbox habits every day. The school has asked us to help for one week. The monsters at the monster park will be happy to hear this news, Albert joked. Maybe I'll drop off a few rainbow snack boxes, laughed Yuki. With all that junk in their guts, they're going to get a tummy bug. The lesson we learnt today is that eating healthy food for lunch is important for our bodies, brains and health. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. Check out the rest of the stories in our Life Stage series to help your child cope with developmental changes.